your truth. Hmm. And what do you mean by that? Harmonizing your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Hmm, I like that. Uh, so your greatest power is in your discovery and understanding of self. That's right. Finding Happy Podcast will help you understand how your thoughts affect your life. Thoughts become feelings, and our feelings create a halo around us. Finding Happy Podcast will help you cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies. Wow, I like that. Thoughts become feelings, uh, which then become habits that we practice. Finding Happy Podcast will help or give the listener an insight into how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious minds. And it will help you understand how to program your mind to attract what you want consciously. You deserve to thrive in this life. Find your happy. Finding, Finding happy, happy Podcast. Okay, guys, welcome to Finding a Happy. And welcome to Yumi Radio, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you are watching, listening to this. We have on with us today, with myself and Keith, the entrepreneur, Jarain Pinnock. He is a... Actor, producer, actor, writer. Actor, producer, yeah. writer, That's storyteller. He's phenomenal and he's Jamaican. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. He's my brother and the mother. What can I say, you know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We definitely. just we, we just met and we were having the conversation and we were like, hold on, we want to have we want to capture this conversation, right? So yeah. we started off talking about um, he went to Caramac because he has journalism degree as well as his first degree as well as my first degree is journalism. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Keith. So I'm Northern Caribbean University, Jamaica, and he is Caramac. And there's always- University of the West Indies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is, is, it, is it like a rabbit going on there with you, with you guys? <laughs> yeah, especially <laughs> especially in, in this discipline, in the journalism. Yes, there is field. always a war, hey. a fight, a quarrel, yeah. a contention, a conversation <laughs> about it, right? Because yeah. we're declaring who's first and who is not first and who is the best and who's not the best. But I think we both agree Northern Caribbean mm -hmm. University is the best. I think we I both agree you. that Northern Caribbean has a good program. <laughs> <laughs> oh my idea. gosh, thank you so much, Doreen, for joining us on our program, Finding Happy. Let me just tell you a little about what Finding Happy is about. Definitely. Finding Happy is really a convert, us having conversations with persons who we are inspired by or whose story um, is, in, is, is empowering and is thought provoking and is something we want to have a conversation about. Yeah. The, the whole motto and concept around finding happy is really helping people harmonize their thoughts, feelings, and actions because we believe that um, what you think is who you become. Because Definitely. what you think, you interpret through your feelings and then you carry out in your mm -hmm. actions. And so this, co this program started from just, you know, having that kind of conversation just to really connect, help people really connect and, and become intentional and conscious about the conversations they have with themselves. Definitely. Right. Definitely. So thank you so much. Um, Keith, can you tell us a little about how you know Jermaine to and why you, because oh. I know you instigated this interview, which I'm happy for. What happened? What happened? What I thought you, you never asked. <laughs> I, I thought you never asked. <laughs> but um, yeah. um, fortunately, um, I met uh, Jerrain some years back. Um, I came to my church. <laughs> I came from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I knew, I knew his cousins prior to him. Um, um, and uh, one young lady sang really well in my church. You know, she named it Ashe. I knew her for, for quite some years. And then I met, I think, another cousin of him that came up. Um, forgot her name, um, Jorain. Uh, what's her name? Um, Holly. Um, Erlen. Yeah, Erlen. Holly. Yes, I mean, Holly. Yes. So when he came, I actually thought they were actually the family. Like, you know, blood, whatever it was. But it seemed that way anyway because they were so close. Yeah. You, you think they're like, you know, brothers and sisters. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, met this guy. Very cool. You know, very looking, very you know, astute. You know, very, I would say very uh, um, focused. 
Wow. And it wasn't too long after that he got involved in the church. I believe it was ushering. I believe he was doing. Uh, and, as a um, security guard, uh, as a security for um, the pastor. Yes, yeah, security. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I watched him, and he was very dedicated, very on point, and um, that I liked. But of course, um, you know, we in our church we have we have men's ministry, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, we had. Is that where all the women are? Yes, that's where they are. <laughs> they are. That's where we go crazy. <laughs> um, so we had, so we had, you know, we had different meetings where we talk about different things, from business to, you know, faith, and like you know, that's really ambition. Men, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you know, the older men would, you know, kind of, I would bring the younger guys and uh -huh. you know, have them, uh, you know, learn some things and, and prepare early, mm -hmm. you know, how to be men, you know. And uh, as I hear him speak, I said, this, this brother has something going on here, you know. Mm -hmm. Just is the way he, he communicated, the way he um, um, explained himself. I said, he knows something, you know, he's doing something. Yeah. Um, and as for time went on, I hear I heard more, more, and more about him, and yeah. found out he was an actor. Yeah. I'm like, well, well, let's talk, you know, yeah. because I know yeah. it's a very interesting field, and not many people, not in in our black churches that that I know, uh, as black men who has reached his level, that that are actors. Um, yeah. So of course that drew me to him, and we talked and so on, and I shared something with him as far as what I was doing and. And we we clicked really well initially. Yeah. We, just, we just clicked right away. And, um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. We just you know similar, same drive. You know, yeah. we are pretty much driven, self-driven, very self-motivated, right. and focused. Right. You right. know, so that was what what um what caught me to him. Okay. And we've been talking ever since. You know, and it's like it's like we, we we can see see each other for for distant time, for like you know, two three months or two three weeks. It's like when I meet him, it's like, hey, man. It was like we just clicked, nice. like real. Nice. Yeah. Brothers, man. So, wow, yeah. that's wonderful. It's a yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, Jareen, tell us, who is Jareen outside uh, well, of your titles? Because you're quite uh, accomplished. Who is Jareen? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd just like to say it's an honor to be here. I thank you, Keith, for um, you know making this uh, you. you know a reality. And thank, I thank you for being here. He he never stopped. Having, <laughs> for, for, for yeah. having, <laughs> did you, you get Jareen? Did you get Jareen? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I apologize yeah. for the delay because we've been kind of on a hiatus because we just yeah. started a radio station and there are many projects that we do. <laughs> Definitely, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, so thank you. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, you know, um, so in addition to that, I would, first and foremost, I would say that I'm a man of faith. I'm, you know, a follower of Jesus Christ. And I have uh, unusual ambition, I guess. Um, young boy from Jamaica. Spanish Town, Jamaica. I used to live in Kingston, but I, you know, spent most of my days in Jamaica in Spanish Town. And, um, you know, I came to New York to pursue acting. Um, I'm not going to stop. Uh, you know, I, I acted up um, a lot in Jamaica. Stage plays started from stage plays for UCCF in college. And then I did a lot of commercials in Jamaica. I did a bigger commercial. I did a Scotiabank commercial. I did an NCB commercial. The NCB commercial went throughout the Caribbean, you know, I, I, I had an agent in Jamaica, so, you know, I got called up for um, commercials a lot. And then um, I did a couple of reality TV shows. I'm, I'm not sure if you remember them, like College Lifestyle. And oh, then I remember Island that Rockers. One. Yeah, and then Island Rockers. I did Island Rockers as well. And then um, I decided that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to go big. I wanted to actually do this as an authentic, well-trained on camera, um, television and film. Jama authentic Jamaican actor because um, unfortunately brand Jamaica is synonymous when it comes to acting is synonymous with bad acting so I wanted to change that I wanted to change that bad bad on you know film and television acting so I, I kind of wanted to um, you know help the, the, the narrative in that regard so I came over here went to New York um, the, the, the thing with me is I was born in America but I was raised in Jamaica so my story is kind of unique. So all this while I could have, you know, um, lived my life in America, but um, I decided to stay with my mom in Jamaica and, um, you know, uh, finish school there. So I came here in pursuit of an acting career. I did, I, I, I got uh, a scholarship um, to go to NYCDA after competing in the World Championships of Performing Arts in LA. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I got a scholarship from there um I, you know i got a gold medal and and and, and all that but mm -hmm. 
Uh, I, I, I went to a two-year college in New York City, the smack middle of New York City. And I can tell you that that experience for me was, was uh, you know, a, 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 a very, lear- it's a, it was a learning experience because I, had, I realized I had a, a lot of walls, especially as a Jamaican. We, Jamaican, we're very guarded. We're sure. very guarded people. Um, in acting school, some of those walls you gotta you gotta you gotta pull down, and you know you, you have to determine to what extent you're gonna pull down the walls. You can pull down, pull down, pull down until you have to draw a line, you know. Um, so that that in and of itself was a a, a feat, and um, you know it presented obstacles that uh, really taught me a lot about myself, and um, you know taught me a lot about people. But I completed it. I'm, I'm glad to say I completed the program. And then, you know, I got an agent. And then, you know, I got my first audition a couple months out, out of acting school for Luke Cage. That was the next nice. Marvel show. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't, I didn't get the part. And I was so disappointed. And I realized that the journey was just starting for me. And then um, mm-hmm. I, had to, I, had to, I had to come to the realization that I'm going to, you know, in this, on this road, it's typical for people to hear a lot of no's. Not everybody yes. gets a big break straight out of acting school. And you just have to stick to it and you know it's it, it, it's it's frustrating for me because you know you still need to earn money so you know you gotta spend your time doing the day job and then pursuing the actual career because acting is not like every other avenue in terms of careers it's not low you, you work nine to five in acting and then you know whoopee you right. go home no you have to work until you get that notoriety because anybody can say they're an actor you know mm-hmm. it, it, it's that kind of field you know so, you know, I, I, I would feel depressed when I'm at my nine to five job because I'm like, it's not what I should be doing, you know. So there's that that I battle with. But um, I was grateful to um, to get a, a text message from, uh, you know, a place called Central Casting uh, um, that, you know, get, gets uh, background, background actors for um, popular television shows. And they contacted me for a show called Power. So um, I'm not sure if you know that show. Um, yes, I do. Harvey. Yeah, you know, so. I'm aware of it. It's not something I watch. If I yeah, knew you yeah, were yeah. there, I'd be watching. <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Because yeah. now I will be watching. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, yes. yeah. yeah. It's probably a good thing that you don't watch the show for the most part. But, you know, I, I was so eager. I was, I was shooting something in Jamaica at that time, Real Friends. That's another show that I've been on. Real hold friends on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real Friends, hold on. Real Friends. Yeah. Who produced that show? Andre Winter. I know him. I was working at the National Family Planning Board yeah. when he approached us because he wanted it funded, and we almost did. And then wow. the the <laughs> we we had the the merge of aspect of the Ministry of Health, the yeah. HIV program merge with the National Family Planning Board, yeah. and I well I resigned and. Yeah. Um, what? Oh my goodness! Because I yeah. actually, I was going to say when we're talking about NCU and, U, and, and UE that I actually have had interns that I've um, trained um, from UE. I had a program. Well, the yeah. National Campaign Board had a program that I was the project lead for, and yeah. we had university students that we would yeah. train. And it was an ICT project, and that's why that project was when we were, we were going to pick up. But then we never got a chance to pick it up. And when you speak with him, please tell him congratulations. It's now on, right? Exactly. Yeah. Deserves on to be. Because it was I'm, phenomenal. I think Denise yeah. Bar, is that her name? Um. Denique. Uh. The pi- yeah. Denise was in the pilot. Right. Denique was the in pilot, the pilot. Right. But I saw yeah. the season. He gave me a. I saw the entire thing. It yeah. was fantastic. I fought for it. I'm telling you, but yeah. It, 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 you know, it, it, exactly. It, it really had potential in terms of Jamaican acting because I think uh-huh. that that's that's probably some of the best work in terms of Jamaican. It, it, it was the acting. best I ever saw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, and that's course, the field I'm in. So I'm not just speaking as a host. I'm speaking exactly. as a multi award winning journal, um, not journalist, but producer and EP. Nice. It, it was quality work. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was unprecedented. Yes, yes. It was unprecedented. So you Absolutely. know, and that, that's why I you know because I remember even for that show, you know, uh, uh, you know, you talk you speak about funding, so you know that's always an issue yes, when embarking on. Yes, we were getting the int- Oh my gosh, we were getting exactly. the season. We were, we were we were actually having dialogue to have the full season sponsored. Exactly, exactly. 
So, you know, yeah. it's always a hurdle to have these things funded because unfortunately yes. a lot of people yes. don't see the vision. But, you know, yes. people like me and you, me and you see the quality in it and what it yeah. could do for the culture. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I even came down and they couldn't really, you know, they couldn't pay me what I would, you know, what I would ask right. for. But I used my own money. I flew down and, uh, you know, I stayed in Jamaica and, 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 and I shot all the episodes. And I really did it just for the love of the craft because, you know, they, they paid you, but it's not really about the money, you know, um, as yes. you said before. But I just did it for the craft. And I'm glad, I'm glad with how it turned mm -hmm. out, you know, there's a scene that was circulating with me on social media. Wow. And, you know, when I, when I read the comments, you know, that really motivates me. But what anyways, whilst, whilst I was shooting, um, you know, and it's funny, you know, I, during that period, I was unemployed in terms of anything else. Mm -hmm. I was unemployed in terms of anything else. I was just doing acting. I was doing acting alone. And it's funny, during that period of unemployment was when I got most of my acting done. I achieved most of my, you know, most of my, 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 my acting achievements during that time. And, you know, while shooting that was when I got the, you know, the connect, the power. And then I flew back to America because I'm like, I can't pass this up, you know. Um, and, and it was such a good decision. I don't regret it at all. Um, I flew back with money I didn't have, you know, on credit cards. I flew back and then I did power, but I don't regret it at all. You know, and then um, you see myself on, on a platform like Power. I remember my best friend called me in the middle of the night. He was like, yo, son, you, you, you know, and he's making a big deal. He's, he's just one of those indelible memories. Like, he's making a big deal. And it's, it's those things that keep you going, you know, like uh, just the memories and, and yes. um, the, 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 the euphoria. So, uh, you know, and then I, I flew back after power to finish Real Friends and then I flew back. I like that. I like that. I like <laughs> that you meant you, 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 you. You delivered your commitment so even though you got something that was seeming bigger you still remembered to complete what you started that's a good thing tell, tell me something um take us through the take us through through the details the nitty-gritty of how you got connected to power and what that experience was like for you a, li a little bit about my commitment to power no your connection how you got there okay um so yeah i got that through uh, a company called central casting Okay, uh, so you're, you have, is that an agent that you're assigned to or? It's a, it's a, it's, okay. it's, 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 no, that's not my agent. I, my okay. agent got me, got me the Luke Cage audition and um, she got me another audition with, N, with ABC, but you know, that, that was a self tape on a Sunday team, didn't hear anything back, but um, uh, central casting is more of a, a talent pool, you know, it's not, it's not as personalized as having an agent to, to talk to and whatnot. They just saw my image, they take, you take photos, they see an image and if they like you, if, if somebody from the crew of whichever show is um, using them to source background talent. If they see a picture and they like you, then they call you, then central casting then con contacts you and calls you in and tells you the shoot dates and if you'll be able to make it. And that's what happened. And I was in Jamaica at this time. And then, um, you know, I, you know, I, I made the, 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 I took the risk and then I, I flew back, I flew um, to the States, but it, it, it was a good risk because at the end of the day, it's power. And then when I have that on my resume, it gives it some, yes, you know, absolutely. And so, and then, so, you know, Rachel, after uh, Raquel, or Raquel, 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 yeah. Raquel, um, after, after that, I, um, I, you know, I, you know, after just waiting for auditions, I, I, I told myself, I, I looked on some of the, 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 the stories of, of people that really made it big, like, um, you know, giants in the industry they made their own material you look on tyler perry you look on yes. um sylvester stallone they wrote mm -hmm. their own material and Absolutely. then i had an idea that i knew was a good idea you know when you just have an idea and you know it's a good idea nobody can tell you anything yes. if it doesn't get picked up you know you have a good idea mm -hmm. i had an idea to blend both worlds both jamaica and america in an authentic way because really and truly it has not been done and if it was done it was yeah. never back it was never back by a major um, television or you know production host like HBO or Netflix, it's never been backed by something like that. The most authentic Jamaican American story I've ever seen was Shuffle. Right. Outside of that, yeah. Outside of that, it, it's never been done. And if it, if, if 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 another if, if if a production company tried to do it, it was not authentic because they're gonna have some quote unquote Jamaican character that's not Jamaican because they just grab anybody from the Caribbean and have them put on. <laughs> a very phony Jamaican accent and I guess to the you know the same um, thing. yeah to, to, to Americans it may sound oh yeah that's, that's Jamaican enough you know it may sound authentic to them but, but to the real hear, Jamaican you yeah, know to, that to the real Jamaicans we hear it right yeah. and it hurt my heart every time I saw it because I'm like I'm right here I'm right here if they, if they only knew because I, mm -hmm. I, I got the training I spent my money I got learned 
you know, and you know, mm -hmm. I, 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 I got the, the on camera technique and all that, you know, I invest in this thing and I, I need somebody to use me, to put me to work, right? So I ended up writing my own program. I wrote my own script. Sometimes when I look on the script, I, I, I'm wild, I'm amused. I'm like, I did this because I never, I, the only writing I did was journalism, journalistic, right? Oh. But, you know, I, 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 I figured out my plot lines and then I said, I'm going to tell, I don't have to. It's the best kind have. though. The journalistic exactly. writing is the best kind, you yeah, know, the full yeah, information. Yeah, yeah, it's funny, right? It, 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 it helped me. <laughs> So um, I decided I borrowed a lot from my life. You know, I decided I'm going to tell a story about an immigrant Jamaican boy moving to America, pursuing a degree or, you know, um, you know, pursuing something and the obstacles he faces on, on, on the way. And, you know, uh, I called it, I decided to call it Yardy and the Yankees. And I think it's catchy. <laughs> I like that. Yardy, yeah. Yardy, yeah. Yardy, 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 Yardy and, and the Yankees. And the Yankees. Yankees. And the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and, and, and it's, it's, I'm it's seeing cool two best friends. Yeah, you know, it's cool. Uh, even that, you can, mm -hmm. I, I have a clip. I'll, I'll show you when I get a chance to. But like, yeah. the, the name is, it's, it, it, it stuck with me because it's two col colloquial terms. Yes, just so in two different right cultures. Exactly. There's a merging of cultures. Exactly, yeah. yes. exactly. And, and it, they both start with Y and they both, the second letter in both the, um, words is a so yeah. that really that really you know that really meant something to me i'm like i have something here and then mm -hmm. i started shooting and then i, I after I, I not not started shooting i started writing when i got when i had when i wrote a proper scene that i would use as a as a, a pitch you know um the pitch scene because i couldn't i could I, I had to face reality i couldn't fund an entire pilot first of all i didn't know what it was i didn't know if it was a our original movie or a series mm -hmm. right even though I, I, I still don't know what it is i only know it's a good idea so I wrote something and then I, I, I hired, you know, um, I hired somebody who I, who I knew from acting school. The best thing about acting school is that it gives you the community. Connection. Yeah, it gives you the community. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I use one of my, my acting coaches. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. Am I talking? Oh, no. oh, you're the guest, darling. <laughs> Go right ahead. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, 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 uh, I employed, employed one of um, my acting teachers who had a production company who shot um, student reels for, for, for acting oh. students just out. And, you know, I, I had him um, shoot a scene for me. And the way he shot it was not only in, you know, usually reels focus on one actor, the actor who's trying to sell himself, but I asked him to shoot it as a scene, right? So it was, shoot, it was focusing on me and it was focusing on the other, on my, on, my, on my partners in the scene, right? Because I'm trying to sell the idea. So I shot that and then um, when, I, when I saw the finished product and then I, when I showed it to both Americans and Jamaicans and when I saw the, the, the reactions, I was like, I know I have something. They were, mm -hmm. wow, they were blown away. And, you know, they're like, this is what everybody's waiting for. Like, you know, and this is the time to do it. Like, this mm -hmm. is the time to do it. This is the time for diversity. You know, Netflix is trying to tell absolutely. a lot of Absolutely. That story. is so. That is absolutely exactly. so. It, exactly. You know, everybody tired of the, oh, the typical story, young yeah. person in Manhattan, New York. Goes because you see the whole reality um, exactly. fever has taken exactly. over. So people want to see what's real. Exactly. Yeah. People want to learn yeah. about other it's cultures. The, it's the age of you too. Exactly. People yes. want to learn about other worlds. People want to learn yes, absolutely. other parts in, 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 in the world. Because if we're going to right. tell stories, if we're going to tell stories about people, let's tell stories about our people. That's the mm -hmm. idea. That's the, 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 the inclusivity. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that, you know, diversity, inclusivity. So I, I figure I, I realized that. And ever since um, Ra Raquel, I've been Raquel, right? Raquel. It's Raquel. Yeah. Ever since I've been, I've been putting all my money into that, and you know, it, it gets frustrating at, at 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 some points. But you know, I have something coming up, and you know, even if God forbid it doesn't go my way, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna go to other people, and you know, my journey starts from there. So I'm trying to produce my own project. Um, I want I want to be the lead in it, but if I can find a Jamaican actor who fits the, the you know the, the role better, because I'm even talking to this young man and I like his image, but you know I don't know how well his acting training is. I saw some of his work. I know where he can use training, but his image, I think he's trainable. And I, who knows, you know? But I'm trying to pitch this idea, and soon I'm gonna show it to an exec who has worked with both HBO and Netflix. And uh, I'm using him as my window in, you know, I, I work, I work at a bank in, in the days and I got, I got introduced um, to him to a partner at the bank because the partner knew about my ambitions. And, you know, he called me over and said, dream, dream. You know, he has a, he had a, he has a business relationship with this man 
And then he introduced me and the man gave me his contact number. And when I call him, he actually answers. So, I, I, you know, my father always taught me to spot the opportunity. So I spot the opportunity through that. He actually answers me. This exec who has worked on all these high profile shows answers my call and he's taking me seriously, you know? So uh, I'm, 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 I'm hoping something comes out of that and um, I'm not, I'm not going to stop, you know, that's, that's what I can yeah. say. So that's what I'm working on. I, I, I don't, I don't waste time on, you know, trying to tell everybody else's story. I'm, 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 I'm investing in, in, in my brain child. They call it, what do they call it? Brain child. Yeah. Yeah. My brain child. Yes. Yeah, my brain child and, um, I'm, you know, I, I believe in it. I believe in it. Yes. Keith believes in it. You know, <laughs> everybody. <knows. laughs> so, um, so Jared, tell me. I mean, yeah. I, I like what I'm hearing now. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hear you talk about you trying. You're writing your own stuff. You're creating your own path. I like that. Now, yeah. as far as going backwards and see what you've gotten and what's been offered to you, have you ever had something where you're like, you know, me now do that? In other words, I'm not doing that scene or that role. Have you had that moment where you're like? No, I can't do that. Or based on my standards, or based on what I am trying to accomplish, I, I will not turn that down. Or, or you take everything that comes your way, hoping something will grab or whatever. Is that what's your approach in that? Okay. Um. So I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, in, at this stage of the game uh, of my career, it's tempting to take anything that comes your way because you're trying to get in. You know, you you you, you want to eat. You got you got bills to pay. You're trying to get in. Mm-hmm. However. I, there is a line that I will draw, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll go as far, as, you know, to say that I rather, you know, I rather suffer before I take certain roles. I mean, it all, I, it all depends on the story. What's the end goal? You know, mm-hmm. um, if if, if, okay. if the, the the over the 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 art the over art message, you know, mm-hmm. the, the, the the moral okay. of the story. Um, mm-hmm. so it all depends on the. I'll say it all depends on the story. Even at this stage of the game. I am very, yes. I'm, I'm careful as to what I take. They're, they're very, you know, in terms of the list as to what I'll not take, it's very small, you know, but, um, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 you know, I, 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 for the most part, I'll take what comes my way. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the kind of person like you. I don't see closed the doors. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Because I believe that, and that's why I have this program. I believe that everything in the universe is working in my favor. The universe loves me and everything is just guiding me to what I need to do. Yeah. And so we went to New York and we filmed the project. And um, after we filmed it, we came back. I edited it myself. It took me three days and three nights because when we got back with it, I did the trailer first and sent it off. Um, The local channels were very interested in it. Um, And then... We so they gave me three days because they're like, Where is it? We need it like right now, prime time, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Three days and three nights. I would, I never ate, I never slept, I didn't even wow. get up to drink tea like nothing. I was on fasting for three days. Wow, 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 to make sure I get it done in time. Uh, it was wow. when I was that told by the by the, the, the awards persons that we were the first independent persons to produce a documentary. And were awarded or first or very first wow. documentary. Yes. Wow, congrats. Wow. Thank you. And every single member on the team, we got eight individual awards. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so I was going to say, say, say to you, poverty is not necessarily such a negative thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing. It's not necessarily such a negative thing. And I say that because Jamaica is a developing country. Once you've been here, you've lived here, you've gone to school here, you've gone through the culture here, you, you were not unscathed. <laughs> you would have yeah, been touched yeah, yeah. by school <laughs> of it, right? Yeah. But what it does, it builds in us this drive. Yes, definitely. definitely I heard definitely. it in your voice. I heard it in your voice. Yes. And oh, that's yeah. Andre Winter, I'm telling you. That young man, he kept coming and kept coming and kept calling. And you know what? Yeah, Apologize to him for me, because it, even though it was without, it, it wasn't within my power to 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 make it happen. You know, so fast. I'm telling you, the drive was there, and I could see it, and all of that. But yeah. I'll tell you this: you can do it yourself. You don't even need Netflix these days. And I'm not saying you don't need Netflix. I'm just yeah. saying, mm-hmm. should they say no, you still have yeah. other. Outlet. Yeah, definitely, 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 right. definitely. But you pointed something out that's very important, and I want whoever is listening, because if there's another young person out there thinking of it, you, 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 you started talking about your network. And yeah. throughout your conversation, I hear you connecting your networks, the people you've met, and that you know someone who's an executive. Someone. How does 
you, how do you, you leverage your network to achieve mm. what you want? Wow. Well, how do you okay, well, uh, well, um, you know, it's, it's, it's about, you know, as my father told me, it's about spotting the opportunity. Yes. You know, I, I, I think, I think that, that, that simple, you know, those, those words, those, those, you know, those words spot, learn to spot the opportunity, opportunity. Yeah. Qu quote unquote, it meant a lot. And it had a lot of weight to me because my father is a, uh, you know, a prominent businessman. He's a successful businessman in Maryland. And, um, when he told me that, when I asked, when I was trying to glean as much knowledge from him, and he told me, I didn't grow up with my father, so I tried to have as much conversations with him when I do see him, right? Um, mm -hmm. When he told me that, when he it's told me that... the most important thing, recognizing the opportunity. The yes. most important thing. Yes, yeah. Uh, and, and so seeing how they can assist you in, 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 in um, going further to your goal, but, but you have to have a goal in mind, right? You have to have a goal. Yes. And then I'm um, spotting what... what, um, what qualities in their skill set or their connects can help you to reach that goal, you know? Um, so, you know, I could have easily seen the, the produce, the exec producer as just, Oh, well, you know, just a, another producer and I can share my idea with him. And that, that's that. But I, I, I heard where he was just coming from. He was just coming from Netflix because he's just, he just came off the boat producing something for, for Netflix. So what that tells me is that he has connections with Netflix. Yes. So I have to treat yeah. him very importantly. Yes. Uh, yes. Important. He's yeah. an opportunity. To, yes. Exactly. Exactly. And, and um, you know, nice. It's, nice. Not, it's not, a, it's not a matter about being an opportun opportunist. It's about telling him. You should be your, opportunistic. Your, 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 yeah, it, it, is. It, 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 it is. Be opportunistic. It, it, it yeah. is, you know, but you, 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 you know, oftentimes the word oppor opportunist is, uh, it, 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 it's it kind of synonymous negative with being, yeah, it, negative connotation. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's and it's, it's, it's often, it's, it's about, it's often synonymous with having an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. it, the reason why I say it's, it's kind of different is that mm -hmm. I told him from the get go that this is my plan. You are direct. This is what I really, yeah, you know, this is what I, I would love for you to help me in doing, you know, and I spoke nice. on the phone with him. So he knows my, my, my intention from the get, from the jump, yeah, you know. You're but, yeah, it is, in, in essence, yeah, in essence, it's, it's, it's seeing the opportunity, right? Yes. But, mm -hmm. um, and just, and just, so it's just, it's just about, um. First, you spot the opportunity and know you are leveraging the opportunity. Yes, yes, what? yeah. In, yes. in, um, just a spotting how they can assist you in, in, in having your goal, but you must have a goal first. You, you have to have, have a goal because you have to be ready, yeah. don't you? Uh, exactly. When, when yeah. you connect with the person, you've got to be ready. You have to know what you exactly. want. You have to be clear. Exactly. What exactly. is your ultimate goal? What is it you want from this? From um, acting? For, for, I want an authentic career. I want to be the first or... I want to be an authentic Jamaican voice in the American film industry. Wow. I, I want like I want authenticity finally. Yes. Mm. Yes. Gotcha. yes. So you want to claim that. I like it. Yeah. I like yeah. it. So tell us what are some of the projects you have coming up or what are some of the things you're working on? I know you're working on that project for that you're going to be pitching to HBO and Netflix. Yes. That's your, your I mean, Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. I mean oh, Oh, outside of that, you know, my friends, you know, my, my acting, you know, my acting um, colleagues, contemporaries will, you know, call me up for, for different gigs, some stuff mm -hmm. that they have wrote, some connects mm -hmm. that they have made, you know, but nothing is set in stone. But like for right now, there's this project that my, my, my friend Elijah um, spoke to me about called 12 Floors. And then I have another um, film filmmaker in Jamaica, you know, I, you know, he, he, he has, a, he, he's too busy. So, you know, I, I won't even um, spend time to say, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that because chances are he won't even remember to, to hit me up because he's that busy, you know. Um, but as far as Elijah out here... How will you make sure he remembers? How will I make sure he remembers? I mean, I, you know, I'll, 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 I'll remind him. I'll remind him eventually. Okay. But I, it's something, something that I've want to do? Him. Is it something you want to do? I, of course, you know, but he has to be serious enough. You know, he's serious, but I think he needs to um, fine-tune his attention more you know you can't be all over the place you have to you have to have as Tyler Perry said you know I love documentaries by the way it's interesting that you're you know you specialize in documentaries I love I love what I love documentaries me, me too me too yeah there's, there's, some, because I, I, there's just life lessons and it, what, what they do is they motivate you so when mm -hmm. I watched the documentary on, on Tyler Perry you now he said that you need to be focused on one thing not, not but, but, but not even necessarily one thing but keep it keep it close keep it Keep it um simple. Keep it. Pour um, all your water on one tree. 
but yeah, it's not yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, be, be very focused. Focused. And, and it doesn't focused. mean that you can't um, have branches on your tree, uh, yeah, but you exactly. should know what tree yeah. you're investing in. You should, you should yes. be clear. Yes. This is because it. Because it's, it's out of that goal that the yeah. other opportunities will sprout out of, right? Yes. When you, you do this well, other mm-hmm. opportunities will sprout out of that and, and, and give life, you know, it, that, that, that goal, when you achieve it, it will um, give birth to other opportunities. So I, I took that from him. So right now, um, uh, you know, Raquel, I don't, I don't have any old roles just, um, you know, planned or, you know. On, on that thing that you're, your tree. Yes. And, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm, 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 I, you know, I, I'm right now I'm, I'm working on, uh, you know, getting an editor, you know, I was on the phone with my, basically my, my team in America. They're very good at what they do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, that acting, the, the acting teacher that helps me out, he's a very important connect for me because he's an acting teacher. He's a director. He's a writer. You know, he's very important and, and he has connects, right? right? And he's the one connecting me to the professional editor who will edit, um, you know, because I even flew to Jamaica to shoot some stuff for Yardi and the Yankees. You know, that in and of itself is, is an investment. I hired actors. I hired a cameraman. That same thing. Wow. That I told you very good. I had, very yeah, good. I had, oh, I had awesome. a cameraman. I hired then a mic man. And then, you know, I had yes. to rent a car. And I'm traveling around, going to the different scenes that I want to shoot. Love and it. all these things. And, you know. I love that the in your process. process. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I love the yeah. film. Yeah. Filming you. Filming your. Yeah. yeah. That's what you I always say. You know, Very and, and, nice. um, even 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 that, you know, it's so expensive. But I, I just have to keep telling myself that it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the yes. investment. It's going to be worth the investment. It's going to be worth. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It is worth it because you're you're currently on your journey and you're mm-hmm. fulfilling something. So it is mm-hmm. worth it because you're already fulfilling something in you. I, I, oh yeah, yeah. exactly, I, exactly. I, I I I am impressing myself because yes. I didn't think I could I could commit to something like this. You yeah. know, when it really came full circle to me, um, Keith and Raquel, when I yeah. printed the when I when I printed the script, right? Yeah. What I what 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 I wrote so far, I I I blew myself away because it wow. was so much material, and I'm like, yo, Jereen Pinock wrote this, and then when I look on the front, you know, I typed it, but when I actually printed it. And I saw, you know, Yardy and the Yankees written by Jereen Pinnock. It did something in me. And I just, I just have to thank God for that. Because yes. I'm like, thank you, Lord. I, you know, you don't, you don't really see anything yet. But you thank him nonetheless. You know, it well, never well, happened. But you have the script. That's a big deal. Exactly. So, so, yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Jereen, exactly. so, Jereen, J- J- Jane. I mean, yeah. I mean, all this great, exciting news, man. No, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting excited I'm so here. I'm proud of you, though. I'm getting excited. Yes, so, so here, yeah, here, here, I am excited. So, so Raquel, Raquel. Raquel. Yes. So, so Jereen, Jereen. You, you're an aspiring actor. You're just about, you know, you're about to blow up any day now. So yeah. here's my question. How the ladies, man? How, how is that going? You know, we yeah. got to tell, you know what I'm saying? Tell us about it. Tell us about it. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm glad you, I'm glad you, I'm glad you asked. Um, yeah. uh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm pressure, 27. Pressure. Hey, man. I'm, hey, man. I'm 27. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Sure. <laughs> I, 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 was, I, was, I was preparing for this question. Um, oh, it, you're a smart guy. You know, I'm at 27. I'm, I'm 27 and um, I want to get married soon. But, you know, the reality is you need certain things in place. Well, at least um, the stand, you know, the standard or the, the vision that I had for my life is I, I want to be well prepared before I get married. But I also want somebody to be there during this during this stage i want to know the person uh, during this stage because wow. when you when your wings right yeah you know then you know you get a sense that it's genuine it's authentic and at least you, you want to be able to say before you get all the accolades before you get all the money and all that you want she was to be there able to say, mm-hmm. she was there so you wow. know it's real and then that that in, that will give me solace in spending on whosoever the young lady is and um but take god he said that he's gonna send you your angel when you're almost at the gate or going through the gate to take you through the gate well i mean mm-hmm. if god sends if god does that uh, i i i'm hopeful that he will communicate that to me you know and let me know that he can go you know that 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 you can go he has to let you in on the secret right yeah yeah just a little bit you know <laughs> That you can go ahead, especially if she's beautiful, you know, hint, hint. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know. Uh, so, you know, that, but that's, that was rationale behind it. So, I mean, everything hangs on this, this dream that, that I have. Me getting like married, me, be able, me, me being, being able to, you know, have a, have a, buy a home, and, you know, to put over my wife's head and, you know, to, so her, she can have a house so she can so have, have a home. For her, yeah. yeah. We get it, mm-hmm. we get it. Nice, 27 nice. with a dream. Um, yeah. What would you say to 
young men today who may find themselves, you know, blowing in the wind? I would say, do some introspection. What it is that you like? What is it that you love? You first have to find that out and then have a goal and have consistency. As Denzel Washington said, um, have a goal and have consistency because it's true. Without consistency, you know, you will never reach a goal. And without your goal, you'll be, aim you'll be aimless, right? right. So, um, for, 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 you know, you have to do, if you don't know your passion off the bat, you do some introspection because you don't, you only, you have one natural life to live. Of course, you know, we're all Christians here. So, you know, we know about the afterlife, but in terms of the life on this earth, you have one natural life to live mm -hmm. and you want to make the most of it. You want to find a talent and, and invest in it. So I would, if, you, if they don't know what, what it is, do some introspection and, and find that out and don't be afraid to leap. Don't mm -hmm. be afraid to take that risk. If it means that you have to quit a job, and this is the hardest thing, because I'm even, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in that, 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 that space, that gray zone where I'm, 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 you know, there's something in me that's telling me to do it. And sometimes I believe it's God talking to me and sometimes I don't have enough faith to take that step, hand in wow. that resignation letter. And, and put and, and, and focus on my goal. I did it. And, 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 yeah, exactly. Wow. And your inspiration, too, <laughs> right? And, 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 and have 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 enough faith to know that it's going to work out in your favor. Have enough have enough courage to hear a no and still not be broken. You know, but but um, you, you know, you, you have to have faith in pursuing your goal. And a lot of people, you know, I just read a statistic today that eighty seven percent of I think it was Americans. Are not happy, you know. Are not happy with. Oh, I, with I, what I'll help you there. Eighty-seven percent of persons worldwide oh, are really? not engaged. I'm a coach. Are not engaged in their current work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. I, I, I I'm a success that's coach. That's the, I think that's the word they <laughs> use as well. I, yes, I think, I think it was a word. If it's not engaged, it's a word. Engaged. Engaged, right? Yeah, they're I not engaged. Like, it's not a good feeling. It's as if they're not interested. Feeling. It's not really what they yeah. want to do. It's a, it has nothing nothing remotely close to their passion it's, it's a it's a very depressing thing to be, be in wow. and it, the reason the reason for that is a, a lot of us we don't have enough faith to actually go after what it is that we actually want to do because oftentimes what we actually want to do is what 90 percent of people aren't doing so you feel <laughs> you, you, you you feel even stupid you feel silly going after it and i tell you what the people who make it big all the kevin hart the rocks the all these people they are yeah. a part of the ten percent, or the one percent in the 1%. world that actually that took the, took the took the leap of faith mm -hmm. to do it. Steve Harvey, yeah, said that you have mm -hmm. to leave, and that's so yes. true. You, you know? do, yeah. yeah, you do, and not just are, are you do you have to leave? You have to prepare to fail, yes, and fail yeah. hard, yeah. but fail exactly. forward, fail forward. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I like that. Fail and forward. here, Jerry is an example telling you how to do it. I, I would be, it would be remiss of me not to ask you, what was your experience on power like? What was that experience like for you? Raquel, all the young boy, young men in Jamaica who and exactly. actors in Jamaica looking up and think, "Oh my gosh, you got there!" What was that like? Give us it a was, view. It was. I always use this word. It was surreal. It was surreal. I could not believe it because I had started watching Power. You know, as a young black actor, there are only few shows that few shows that meet a certain quality that you can look on and say. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I want to learn from that guy. Yeah, you know, I can see myself doing that. Yeah, man, you know, I want, I want to, I want to look like him. You know, I want, I, I want <laughs> to have that profile. I love how he did that. You know, there are only so much shows with black yeah. male actors black that are trained. That that, 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 yeah, exactly. That that yeah. and meet a certain standard. And I, I guess Power fell in. It was one of the few that fell into that bucket for me. So nice. I started watching it. I started watching it, and it's it was so surreal. Like God. You know, it's funny. Let me share a story with you. Yes, right before, when, at Normal Manly Airport, my mom dropped me off and I asked her to pray for me. I mm -hmm. asked her to pray for me because originally I was only contacted to be a background actor mm. on, on, in that episode. And I asked my mom to pray for me. I asked my mom to pray for me. I was in the front seat of her car and she prayed for me and, you know, tears started running down my eyes. And me and her, we, we were just agreeing. I was agreeing with what she was saying. She was agreeing with what I was saying. And then I left and, you know, I went on the plane and, you know, you know, I, I went to, 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 you know, shoot the scene. And, you know, on set, on mm -hmm. set, a, a, a production assistant just pointed on me and she said, you come here. Mm. And that, in, in, in the scene that I'm in, I got camera time. I had interaction with wow. the, the principal yeah, cast. I, I got interaction with the principal cast because I was bumped up on set. I was bumped Jeez. up. 
I was on set and that was favor out of all the male extras that were there. The PA hand pointed me and said, you come here. And then wow. I went there. And then before I knew I it, it, I was, I, 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 I was standing behind Tommy. You know, Tommy is, is the main, one of the main um, characters in the show. I was there interacting with ghosts. I was treated like a principal um, cast member. People were putting makeup on my face. And then there was a hmm. camera lens right on me. Right on me, and then I, and then I and then I got interaction with uh, you know Tariq, and then I was talking with them. I got okay. to talk. I was I got to talk to Ghost. I got to talk to Tommy. You know, I'm I'm there with them, and I'm standing right behind them. I, you know, um, even one of the actresses that I that I I, I looked up to that I, you know that I, I really um admire. She hugged me on set, and she was talking to me, and she's like, but "Where are you from, baby?" You know, her name is um, you yeah. know, her, her, <laughs> she, she's from Love and Basketball, and I'm, I'm not sure if you know that. Sana, Sana okay. Lathan? Uh, not not Sanai Lathan. Um, the mother, the, the, the girl who plays the mother of um Sanai Lathan's um the love interest um the the, the male the the woman who played Debbie Debbie Morgan, I believe. Yeah. Okay. We call her Auntie De Auntie Debbie. I'm here speaking <laughs> with this lady, and wow. she hugs me. She she hugs me and I was like, look at that, you know. And I don't. That's I was, a huge I'm there accomplishment. With, yeah, I'm there That's walking a win. with Lala. I'm I'm, mm -hmm. I'm there walking with Lala, Natori, and in the scene, I get a decent amount of camera time. You know, my, my you know my best friend, <laughs> you know, he calculated it. He was like, yo, you you got you got about you know such and such seconds of camera time, bro. And he, <laughs> That's a big <laughs> deal. It's That's a big, big deal. deal. You know how much it yeah. is for thirty sec uh, for a thirty second ad on that I'm, channel. I'm telling you That's exactly. I know that. I, 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 I know <laughs> go, Jerain. Go, Jerain. It's <laughs> a big deal. So, so you know, um, to 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 some to answer your question, it was just sublime. It was just a, uh, uh, you know, it was kind of like a hotel. Let me not even say that, but it was it was a a, a surreal experience. I could not believe the show that I've been watching. You know, and it's funny. You know, it's funny. Be very careful what people speak over your life. You know what I mean? Oh yes. Be very careful what people speak over my life because it's so funny. From ever since before I even started acting school. People would yes. say that you look like the guy on power. You look yes. like the guy. Wow, look at that. You do. You do. You know, and, and then thanks, Keith. And then um, <laughs> you know, it's so it's so funny that here I am you walking do, man. trying to find <laughs> the guy, interacting yeah. with the guy, and then I'm playing a cousin of the guy because that's what wow. I got bumped into. A cousin in oh, the family. And because I even, you I look like him. him. Yeah, I even exactly. I even had a name in the show, you know. I didn't get um my credit what what I should have gotten. But um, it's fine because what happened was the guy who was supposed to play that that character he didn't show up on set on the day, mm -hmm. and then they bumped me up right there and then. And um, that that's the guy to play the, play that role showed up that day. That was you. Yeah. Ah. That was you. You see, well, let me tell you what I've learned as an entrepreneur, which is why I say the universe works for me. That's you just have to trust that. First of all, I believe that nothing can happen to me unless God says, okay, I'm going to allow it. Because that's what he, when he talked about after his 40 day of fasting and the devil came, when Job, he said, he has to say, yes, you can do it today. You mm. can test that one. It can go through, which means that if there's a delay in your life, it doesn't matter who initiated it. God must have said, all right, I'm going to allow that today. And if God said he's yeah. allowing it today, it's his business, right? I yeah. always say the how isn't your business. It is your job to be prepared, show up, and execute. And that's what you did. Exactly. You were exactly. just, she never just came and just said, those people are trained, darling. Exactly. They're trained exactly. to do their job. She exactly. saw you. You were appointed that day. You looked exactly. like the person, and you were, the, exactly. you were there for the job. You were exactly. the job. It, is yeah. what, it was you. It's it may not have been communicated yeah. to you that way. And sometimes Amen. God don't tell us what he's about to give us because he has to protect us from ourselves and our minds. Amen. Because I'm I didn't expect you, it when she called you, not. you weren't even bombarded because you weren't thinking about it and nervous about it. So you were ready. Exactly. But it was your role. It was your role. Exactly. It was exactly. your role. And at that point, I think I was, you know, I was, I mean, the, the reality, the reality is what I believe that there are points in your life when you're closer to God than others, yes. than other points, right? And I believe at that point, I, I was, I was, I was close to God. Like I was, I was, wow. you know, I, I I was I was close to oneness with him, and it's funny. He, the word says, "My yoke is easy and my burden is light." When you're in accordance to God, sometimes there's a light that just that just that you exude and you don't even know it, but other people see it. And um, yeah. that it's so funny because that's what the enemy tries to um, 
try, tries to take away from us. Distract you. He tries yeah, to distract yeah, exactly. you because that's all he can do. That's why exactly. you have to maintain control of your mind. It's your yeah. mind, T.G. Yeah. Jakes would say. It is your yeah. mind. It's after yeah. your mind. Yeah. Because you see, the storm can come, in, but you never see it or you never think about it. It doesn't affect you. Yeah, yeah. It's and, your and, mind. And, yeah. Another thing to note is, it's, it's, um, you know, mm -hmm. something, something else that another indelible thing, you know, um, happened to me on that day. Um, the, the lead, the lead, Omari Hardwick, you know, because, I, I, you know, I, I took it very serious. You know, I, had, I, was, I was emotional. I was, I was ready, you know. I, I had tears coming down. He looked on me and double, I, I made him do a double take because I'm, I'm holding the coffin. In the scene, I'm holding a coffin. It was at Rainer's funeral and I'm holding a coffin and I'm walking out with the main family. And in the scene, he does, you know, he, not in the scene, but like on set, he did a double take on me because he couldn't believe that this, this guy was, was so in character. And I was emotionally full. I was, I was more emotionally full than I, I would go as far as to say uh, that anybody, everybody on the, self, on the set. And when he looked on me, he, you know, it, 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 it ignited a seriousness in him. And he started, because he's the captain of the set, you know, he started talking to everybody. He's like, Debbie, come on, come on. As soon as he looked on me, you know, he did a double take and he's like, wow. You know, I, I could almost tell that's what he said in his, his head. And then after we were done, you know, when we wrapped for the day, you know, I, I, I reached out my hand to him and I was like, it was a pleasure working with you, Omar. And he was like, hey, man, hey, man. I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this word. Hey, man. Yeah, hey, hey. He pointed at me. He was like, yo, good work today, man. You're real, you're real focus. That's exactly what he said to me. Yeah. Wow, you're real, nice. you're real focus. And it, it, it just, it just, it, it meant a lot to me get, taking it from him yes. because I have a list of actors, of five actors, you know, I think it was like my top five actors and he's on it. And to have him say that to me, this Jamaican, little, nice. little Jamaican boy from Spanish Town, it meant a lot to me. And um, that, after that experience, I knew I was doing something right. And, if he uh, were listening, if he were to listen to this podcast right now, what would you want to say to him? I was like, I would want to say, you know, uh, you know, thank you. Uh, thank you, Omari Hardwick. You know, that meant a lot um, to me. And, um, you know, it, it, you may not know this, but it, it gave me a lot of motivation. And, um, you yeah, know, I would like just tell him thanks for, 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 for being an inspiration to me because, you know, just seeing him, seeing him and, you know, hearing his story, you know, if you hear his story, it's a rough one. You know, he slept in his car and all that. He lived in his car, couldn't afford his bills before he got the big bird, you know. So um, thanks for being an inspiration, you know, and, um, you know, continue being a good actor, you know. Wonderful. Three things you'd like to leave with the audience before we go. Um, Three life lessons I, you've perfect. learned that are yes. valuable to you. Love the Lord God with all your heart. Okay, good. Uh, follow your passions and have faith to take the leap. Have faith to take the leap. Yeah. Take Wonderful. the leap. Take the leap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jareen, yeah. for joining us no, and finding you. happy. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Our thank absolute me. pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Um, I know you're going to inspire listeners. I know you are. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that your project will be successful. And thank we're you, here Raquel. if you need us. Definitely. Thank you so yes. much, Raquel. Thank you so much, Pete. Absolutely. Yes. Thank and, you, and, too. And, and, and let me just say, lastly, it was yes. a pleasure, my brother, from another mother. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I see you, I see you there. I see you are one of those pioneers and you're going to actually, I'm sure, inspire a lot of younger men yeah. and young people in general. I see you really making a mark and a trail that men are going to want to follow. So you me, even me as an older guy, an old gentleman, I admire you and what you're doing. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying success is yours Thank and you. man, go yeah. out and get it Absolutely. behind you. If I can help in any way, I'm here for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, oh my goodness. That was such a wonderful conversation, wasn't it? It was absolutely yeah. amazing. I'm so proud more than of I it. thought. Yes, and more than I knew. Yeah. I didn't know that he had such an extensive uh, uh um 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 resume. Um, resume. Yeah. yeah, I was really he's, so, by he's that. so driven, so focused, so uh, you know what? I think he could he would make a very good mentor. I think so. You and, and you know what, too, what I like about him? Yeah. He was willing to put his money where his, where his mouth was. You know? That you know, was a lot of, there are lots of persons with good talent, great talent. Yes. yes. And mm. they're, it's so funny because I've been thinking about it. Persons who, I've seen people who just have, who get things just handed to them. Like, I've seen that too. On your lap. 
I know. And it's like they're still saying, you I don't, don't get it. Have. And here is this you young man who is mm. going out there and he has to be making it happen. Not one time did I hear yeah. him say his successful father had to give him money or he's going to daddy for something. Mm. Yes. You know? And I paid attention to it. Yes. And he's so uh -huh. so focused. He, he, you know, he showed up and he was ready. And because yeah. he was ready, he was able to shine. Yeah. When given the yeah. chance. That's amazing. Spot the opportunity. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Spot That's what I call an inspiring story. You know? Yes, it is. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And keep listening to Yumi Radio. Own your truth. Hmm. And what do you mean by that? Harmonizing your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Hmm, I like that. Uh, so your greatest power is in your discovery and understanding of self. That's right. Finding Happy Podcast will help you understand how your thoughts affect your life. Thoughts become feelings, and our feelings create a halo around us. Finding Happy Podcast will help you cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies. Wow, I like that. Thoughts become feelings. Uh, which then become habits that we practice. Finding Happy Podcasts will help or give the listener an insight into how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious minds. And it will help you understand how to program your mind to attract what you want consciously. You deserve to thrive in this life. Find your happy. Finding, Finding Happy, happy Podcasts. Podcasts.